Uh, no. Stop resisting. Help. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. Microchipping inmates is not a completely new subject. You've seen it in the movies. You're now under my control. On TV shows. Right there. Whoa. On the TikTok. Microchip implants are here and have been here. But what if there was a technology out there that accomplishes the same goal as microchipping while being less invasive? For those of you that don't know how a jail or prison works, every movement, meal, supply, and well-being check is legally supposed to be documented. This is to ensure that inmates are receiving the proper care and that they are healthy and safe at all times. Where the problem lies is the archaic way in which facilities are documenting these things. Literally with pen and paper. Yes, you heard that right. Pen and freaking paper. Corrections officers in most jails are writing down documentation in notebooks as things are happening as legal documentation. Forget to write something down? Oops, guess that never happened. Can't read the handwriting that looks like chicken scratch? That must have never happened either. Guardian RFID is striving to make jails and prisons a safer place for correctional staff, the public, along with all inmates using inmate tracking. Yes, you heard that right. Inmate tracking is especially effective for the safety of inmates. So what exactly is inmate tracking? Instead of using microchips, Guardian RFID uses products that use radio frequency identification, hence the RFID, artificial intelligence, facial recognition, and machine learning to track everything an inmate does and everywhere an inmate goes within a facility. By now you're probably wondering, how in the world can this keep inmates, staff, and the public safe? If anything, it sounds like a breach of privacy. It's cause it is. Shut up. It couldn't be further from the truth. For example, if there's a gang member in a rec yard with another rival gang member, how in the world will pen and paper be able to help notify an officer of this potentially life-threatening situation? It can't. But a real-time logging system will know before that gang member even enters the yard that there's a rival gang member already in it and help notify that officer. Inmate tracking systems can also be used to monitor the well-being of inmates and make sure that they are receiving necessary medical care and other support. Officers also periodically hand out items to inmates that may potentially be dangerous, like razors for shaving. They're supposed to return these items after a certain amount of time, but because of the inefficient way of logging with pen and paper, it can sometimes be hard to know who has what, when, and where. Sometimes during shift changes, messages aren't relayed to other officers, letting them know who has potentially dangerous items. With our Spartan device, we can see who has a dangerous item at any time within the facility. It also syncs with all other Spartans in the facility, so once an item is returned, it is returned on every other officer Spartan in real time. Whether you're pro microchipping or absolutely against it, one thing we can all agree on is that in an incarceration setting, tracking the well-being of inmates along with staff is an absolute necessity to hold everyone accountable for their actions. Guardian RFID wants to lead proactive documentation that helps officers and inmates alike. By embracing technology, we can work towards creating a safer and more efficient environment for everyone in a correctional setting.